Welcome to part two of our flying cat project. I hope you had fun with the first part and I hope you enjoy today's lesson as well. Okay, so to start with, I am going to show you what it will look like once you're finished with today's lesson. Okay, let's see. So we have our flying cat and I can move him up and down and forward and back using my arrows on the keyboard. Another thing you'll notice is I have points up here and they're little flying hearts that come by that my cat can well, my cat can catch to get points. Okay, so it's a fun little game. All right. Let's get back to our code. Again, I'm going to start with signing in so you remember how to get to your project. I am going to click on sign in, type in my username and password. There we go. Okay, let's go back to where my project was from before. There's my flying scratch cat project. Let's see inside. Okay, so let's see what our cat does so far. Okay, he is flying through the sky. We have the buildings, we have a cloud. Okay, the first thing we're going to do today is add some actions for the cat. I'm going to be write some code so I can use the left arrow, the right arrow, the up arrow, and the down arrow on my keyboard to move the cat. Okay, so for this we're going to choose some new events. I will create my events first. I'm going to need a when up arrow key pressed, when down arrow key pressed, when left arrow key pressed, and when right arrow key pressed. Now the up and down, we are going to have to change the Y coordinate for our cat okay so let's go to motion okay and what we're going to do is change the y and when I want him to go up I think I will say change y by 20 that's going to make our cat go up okay and then for the cat to go down I will change it by minus 20 and then to make the cat go left, we will change x by minus 20 because we will be moving this way on the x-axis. And when right arrow key is pressed, change x by 20. Okay, let's test this code out now. Here's my cat. Press up arrow key, up, down, down, right, right left, left. Perfect. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add my heart sprite. Let's go look for it. Okay. It's a nice little red heart. It's a little big, so I'm going to change the size to, let's try 30. You know what, I'll go a little bit smaller. Let's say 25. Here we are. And I'm going to want the hearts to come in from the right. So let's check what the position of X is. If I pop my heart all the way to the right, the value of X is 240. Okay, so let's add some events here. We will start with the when flag clicked event for the heart. Okay, and what we want to do is have the hearts appear at random positions up here. Um, to this corner and move all the way to the left, disappear, come back here again. So we will have to use a loop that will keep looping forever. So I will put that in. Okay, and how do we get it to go to random positions up and down? We can again go back to our motion blocks and find go to random position. This just means the heart will start somewhere on the screen 
but we do want to make sure it starts all the way on the right. So we will use this x um, value, 240 on my screen. So the next thing I will do is set the x to 240. And now, just like we did with the buildings, we're going to keep um, moving the heart left till it disappears off the screen, and then a new one should appear. So let's put in another control, which will tell us to move the heart a certain number of times. Now, I think I am going to put in um, 40. You can try something else to see how long it takes the heart to reach all the way to the left of the screen. And go back to motion and keep changing the X value to make sure the heart moves left on the screen. So I will have to put a minus um, a negative value, so minus 20. Okay, let's try that out. Okay, so it seems like the heart comes here and it stops, so maybe 40 is too long. Let's try 35, okay? A little bit better, okay? Let's see, 30. Okay, that does make it disappear a little bit faster. Okay, I will just reduce it a little bit and I think I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is make the heart disappear when the cat touches it and give us an extra point. Okay, so for a point, what we're going to do is something new that we haven't done before. We are going to create what we call a variable, which will give us somewhere to store the value of your score. So click on variables, make a variable, and we are going to call this points for all sprites. Okay. Okay, now under variables, you'll see we have different commands that we can use with a variable. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is as soon as we start the game, we want the points to say zero. So let's have a when flag clicked, set points to zero. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is when the cat touches the heart, we want the heart to disappear, and we want to increase our points by one. So to check um, if the cat is touching a heart, what we're going to do is add a condition. We're going to say if the cat is touching the heart. So let's go to control. Okay. Let's put it in right here as the heart moves across the screen. And if you go to sensing here, again, that's a new section for us. If touching, cat flying. Okay, so here we, what we're doing is checking if the heart is touching the cat sprite, the cat flying sprite, then what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do is increase our points by one because it means the cat caught, caught one of the hearts. So let's say change points by one. And the next thing we want to do is we want to hide the heart because we want the catch to touch the heart and have it disappear. So let's go back to looks and there's the hide. Okay. Now this will mean that the heart will disappear at this point. But we do want to make sure that when the next heart appears here, we can see it. So that means we'll have to use a show somewhere. And that will be right here before we set the position for the new heart to come on the screen. So I'm going to put a show right here to make sure my heart comes back on the screen. Okay, let's test that. Time to fly. My points are zero. So this is a bit tricky. Oh, caught one heart, two, three, and you see my points are increasing and every time I touch a heart, the heart disappears. There you have it. One last thing I would like to see you try is uh, change the code here, change your sprites, and try and make up your own game. 
Um, here's something I tried out. I have a diver instead of my cat and I have some fish that are swimming by and the diver will be able to increase his points by catching the orange and white clownfish. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. There he is, he got one point. Two, okay. So you know how that works. Um, I would like to see you try your own examples, be creative and see what you can do and see what you can have flying or swimming or anything else that you can think of. Okay, bye, have fun.